Here comes the rust and now there's craziness. We're gonna build the house, it's kind of DIY. We're gonna figure it out on our own and just subcontract it out. Never done this before, but we're gonna try. Learn a little, maybe. We're trying our best. Welcome back. We are staking out the house officially today with the batter boards and everything else. And Heather's got a way to do it. It's like a 90 degree angle of something, I don't know. It may have been with a lot of yelling and screaming, but we got one side of the house done so far. It's square. Well, let's get this it's square. Done. Come on. Tell now we gotta go to the other side. It. You put your one side in, your measurement, so from here to down there is 34 feet, one inch, and one fifteen sixteenths or something like that. I don't remember what it is. And then you take, you make your right angle. So this right here, you measure from here to here is three feet. And then from here to here, is four feet and then from here to this one over here is five feet it's called the three four five and then you end up with your right angle there's lots and lots of screaming and yelling that has gone into this so this is the difficulties on building we did all that by the book and it was two feet off so we don't know what we're doing wrong so what we're gonna have to do is hire someone to measure this house off because we cannot get it We just don't know why it's off. We're doing everything by the book. And we gotta get a transit, but transit's about a half a grand. A good one. Maybe we could find a cheaper one, I don't know. But we're gonna have to know, know the level elevation when we start digging anyway, so we'll probably have to get that transit. But we keep buying these tools that we use once, and uh, the problem with that is you use it once, and it's a half a grand, or 300 bucks. And we're not trying to be cheap, but we have two houses to build. We can't. We can't just I mean, we can't just buy stuff, use it once, and never use it again. So maybe we can rent one or find out someone that has one, borrow one, but this house is not going to get square without one unless I hire someone to square it off. I got all the wood made and everything, so it shouldn't be that much to hire someone. They don't even have to make the wood, but it's, it's not square. So we're going to have to, we, we're arguing back and forth, fighting and screaming at each other. This is not going to work. She's getting chest pains. I'm getting a headache. It's not going to work. It's a struggle, guys. Uh, three, four, five, and everything's square, and then... From there to there, from this side to that side, it's two feet longer. It doesn't make any sense why it would be two feet longer, so we don't get it. Well, we gave up a little bit, and uh, Bulldozer Man came over here and tried to help us a little bit, but I, I don't understand what he's trying to say, some of the stuff. Um, he's got everything written down with all this math. I'm like, I don't know what that is. I mean, it, as soon as we get this exactly where we want it, um, it's not going to be hard. We just need to know the height, and if we're going to get trusses or... A truss that goes through, or just two by two by eights, or two by tens for the beam, because the beam and the, will add it up or down. So we got to know exactly how far to dig it. And I don't know these questions, these answers. So um, this isn't going to stop us. You know, we're not going to be, we're not going to wimp out out of the building a house just because of this. We just got to figure it out. You know. Okay, guys. You know, I've been wanting a trailer for the just for the lawnmower, and I don't want to buy the cheap one like those ones you pull with the, you know, those ones you pull with the. Uh, you go to like get them at like tractor supplied or like 120 bucks or like made out of 10 you can't put any weight in them so I figured I would get something homemade heavy duty for the tr for the wheel horse that's what we got $175 and he delivered it for like from like 25 minutes away because I don't have a truck I don't have a truck anymore <laughs> I do have a truck but it's sold so I can't drive it I don't even have the keys to it so this is kind of cool because it's got some nice handles this thing slides up I have some more plywood I'm going to put on it but this, look at how thick the steel is. Look at that. Look at the brakes. It's, I mean, not brakes, but look at It's a solid axle, but look at it. Look at how heavy duty. It's out of a car. It's a car axle. Talk about sturdy. He put a new tongue on it, inch and seven eighths, and gave me a new trailer hitch ball with the tongue, you know, like a pretty new one. But this, right here, is not going anywhere. So I'll put a new uh, piece of plywood here, which I already have a piece of plywood for that. A new one here, and then later on I'll do, replace the, the bottom, but I'm not doing that now. So, let's check. you gave me all the pins. He gave me all the pins, and I'll show you what else he gave me. $175 delivered, guys. Trailers are expensive right now. I know it doesn't look like much, but I'll fix it up. He gave me this, too, with the inch and seven eighths. That, he just gave it to me. So I was like, that's cool because I could use that. So I'm right here 
playing around with my old one, which just has a riser on it, so I can put it on the lawnmower and bolt it down. And I'm taking this ball and I'm putting it on here, I'm taking my ball off. So, if you guys have been watching me from Harvey days, I bought this for the trailer hitch. I said I'd never use this again. WD-40, my best friend. There you go guys, it's just nice and level, we hooked it up, it pulls around real good too. I rigged it up right here, I slipped up this down, I'm going to get a U-bolt here, but that's pretty, that's pretty strong, that's not going nowhere. Let's give YouTube a once around, hey, he's going for a ride. Yeehaw, <laughs> we're going for tractor rides. You can do a nice sharp corner with this. Did it twist? The back? Yeah. Probably need to get it. Yeah. Oh, I twisted a lot. See it? Is it twisting now? No. U bolts. We need some U bolts. We just did a little turnaround for you guys, just to show you. Now I can put some weight back there, probably about a thousand pounds. How much you weigh, Danny? A thousand pounds? Yeah, about a thousand. About a thousand? Right, what is that? This is my, because I did really, really good all day, and didn't eat all kinds of stuff I wasn't supposed to eat all day. This Today? is my treat. Yeah. Greasy hands. No, I'm clean. And I'm in a much better mood right now. And I feel Why? really bad that I kind of just unloaded on my neighbor and I feel really bad. Which neighbor? My neighbor next door. Which one? Mine. Dawn. Or what'd she do? Thank you so much for being my neighbor and, and listening to everything I had to say. I love you and you know I do. Do they watch us still? Yes, they do. She's going to sell me. Pretty soon. He's going to be up for sale. For sale. Or I might be up for sale. I don't know. You're up for sale? I might be. How much? Tell them. Highest bidder. Nice bidder, guys. Put it below. Comments. It's got to be pretty high, Heather's though, for, buddy. Heather's for sale. I'm pretty expensive. Started at a dollar. Super expensive. <laughs> 50 cents. Oh, you're not funny. Come on, Gracie. You got anything Don't you put that on there. Well, oh. <laughs> I think you flipped you right over, Jack. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go visit all my friends and family. Yeah. Too much junk in the trunk. You like that junk in the trunk. Oh, sorry, Gizzy. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.